friends? Ah, uh, is everybody comfortable with my face? And if it is, is it because I look like a cop that's not allowed to have a gun yet? Or like if Freddie Mercury joined Mumford and Sons? Or maybe it's the vibe I put out of like guy that's banned from using the computer at the library. Uh, I, uh, a while back, uh, I was at a house party, guys. I went to a house party because I didn't want to go to a club and have to just stand there pretending I like Pitbull. So I'm at the house party and I drank a bottle of wine that I bought at the store. And then I drank a second bottle of wine that my friend's uncle made. And I got blackout drunk so hard and so fast that when I came out of the blackout, I was still at the party. And I was in the middle of making out with a lady. Yeah, I was surprised too. <laughs> I'm standing there and just, huh. It appears that blackout Colin has a skill set that conscious Colin does not. And it didn't even end there. This lady, bless her heart, she invites me back to her home, and I go along, and we get into her bedroom, and I look at her, and I say, hold on, I have a condom in my jacket. And she poses up on her bed, and then in her best sexy voice, she goes, ooh, cautious. <laughs> First of all, gross. But second of all, when did being cautious become a turn on? I've lived my whole life under the assumption I'm supposed to be a badass to get girls. Be the kind of guy that goes down to the bar like, hey girl, you wanna go for a ride on the back of my hog? Or, or whatever. <laughs> I think that's my problem, is that if I try to be badass, I screw it up. I just screw something up every time. Uh, like, I went and I bought myself a leather jacket. But I bought it at Le Chateau. <laughs> it's not badass, it's French. It's... But now I'm thinking to myself, okay, if being safe, being cautious, if this is the new way to make a lady like, oh, hot in the pants, then... <laughs> Maybe my new pickup line is just me giving girls examples of how safe I am. <laughs> hey girl, I always make sure to eject the USB before I remove it. <laughs> when I was learning how to snowboard, I wore wrist scarves. <laughs> and I wear a life jacket in the shower. <laughs> so what do you say you come home with me? Cause uh, this is your chance to fuck toddler Burt Reynolds. <laughs> I am, uh... So my name's Colin, and I am born and raised here in Vancouver. I'm actually a fourth-generation Vancouverite, and I love this city. Mountains, down the parks, the beaches. But there is one thing. Uh, if you head down to Gastown, uh, the historical center of the city, amidst all the cobblestone streets, there's that old-timey-looking clock. Yeah, the historic Gastown steam clock. Fuck that clock! That clock is the dumbest thing in Vancouver, and I'm including Canucks fans. You know everything about that clock is a lie? Everything. Yeah, they call it historic, but it wasn't built until 1977. So you know what's older than the gas down steam clock? The rapper Ludacris. You don't get to be historic and younger than someone from Fast and the Furious. Like, especially because in 1977, there was legit technological innovation happening, right? That's actually the year that the first space shuttle mission launched. So that means that there was a part of this planet, Florida, not even a smart part of this planet, where there was a ship that was going back and forth between Earth 
and space. And then up in Vancouver, we're just like, oh yeah? We made a clock out of steam. You guys wanna come check it out? No, we don't. That sounds dumb and I resent you for bringing it up. And I know that you're not supposed to be mad at a clock. <laughs> like, I get that, but I am a privileged white male from the suburbs, and this is actually the worst part of my life. Because <laughs> you know it doesn't even run on steam? Yeah, they, there's a steam engine in there, they could never figure out how to make it work, so they just added three electric motors. Huh. You can't name your shit after the thing you wish powered it. <laughs> I had a piece of spinach last week, I'm not salad powered. I'm dollar pizza doner and bourbon powered. That's, that's not healthy, but it's honest, you know? I get what they're going for though, right? You know, they want to have like a tourist attraction, something cool and unique, but if you want a unique way to power your clock in Gastown, why not use gas? Right, and have flames shooting off the top of it? Like it's a monster truck shitty nephew? And there'd be no more boring, unoriginal couples getting their engagement photos in front of it. It would just be metal bands shooting music videos. The flames are going, he's wailing on the guitar. Welcome to Gastown! Hell, I would support a pipeline if all it did was deliver crude oil directly to our new fire plug. <laughs> Alright, my name's Paul and Chad. You guys get a lot of fun.